Hi, today we are in the Thin Tank factory located in Regency Park of Adelaide where the complete range of Thin Tanks are manufactured. The process used in the manufacture of the Thin Tanks is called Roto Mold. We currently have the 1000 litre Thin Tank Mold and you can see that we are filling the bottom half of the aluminium mold with polyethylene powder. You may also notice the mold itself has over 90 pins or cross connectors in it and it is these cross connectors that give the Thin Tank its strength and allow it to be so thin. Once the correct amount of powder is placed in the bottom of the mould, the top is then put in place and the two parts of the moulds are clamped together. The mould is then lifted and placed in a very large oven, which has a very finite temperature control system. You can now see both the 1000 litre thin tank and the 3000 litre thin tank mould have been prepared to be placed into the oven, which is in operation nearly 24 hours a day. Once the thin tank mould is in the oven, the mould is then rotated using the large arm, and it is the heat of the oven that actually liquefies the polyethylene powder, which begins to line the inside of the mould. All polyethylene rainwater tanks are manufactured using this method. Tanks are usually in the oven for approximately 30 to 40 minutes and as one set of moulds are removed, another set of moulds are always awaiting loading on the other side of the oven. The factory where our thin tanks are manufactured is state of the art, employing the latest technology in roto moulding and some of the most experienced staff available. The tanks when in the oven are rotated both on the X and Y axis and this assists in getting the polyethylene powder which is now in liquid form, to line the mould evenly. You can see this movement of the moulds on the arm as they are being removed from the oven. Once removed from the oven, the thin tanks are then required to go through a cool down process, which takes between 20 to 25 minutes in total. This part of the process is quite critical and cannot be rushed. This cool down process is assisted by fans and a fine mist spray which is directed at the outside of the mould as the tanks still spin on the large mechanical arm. The moulds used for the full range of the thin tanks are quite intricate compared to the general mould of a standard slimline tank. As previously noted, the main difference with a thin tank mould is the paint and cross connectors which give the tank its strength. These cross connectors, together with the thick walls of the thin tank, stop it from bellowing out or bulging, which has been a major problem in past designs of super slimline rainwater tanks. The design process of the thin tank range took over two years in total, and our tanks can have between 20 to 30% more powder in them when compared to other slimline tanks on the market. The cost of a standard mould for a slimline tank is generally between 25 to $40,000. The cost of our thin tank moulds ranges between approximately $110,000 for the 1,000 litre tank to over $150,000 for the 3,000 litre thin tank. The thin tank's strength and compact dimensions, together with its aesthetically pleasing looks, makes it the premium poly rainwater tank currently on the Australian market. Once the cooling process has been completed, the mould is removed from the large rotor moulding arm and lifted down to the floor in preparation to have the new thin tank removed. Once the tank is on the floor, the vents are open to release the hot air which has been trapped within the mould during the cooking process. The clamps and bolts are also released, allowing the two halves of the mould to once again be separated. This is done by attaching the top half of the mould to the crane and lifting it apart from the bottom half of the mould. The top half, which now contains the new thin tank, is then moved over to our finishing table. The table is lined with a thick plush carpet so as not to scratch the new thin tank. Once on the table, the top part of the mould is then lifted off and our thin tank is now complete. The new thin tank then has any small burrs removed and is polished ready for shipping to one of our many outlets around Australia. 